What's up guys? Today we are going to be going over a little like musical sequence I made that kind of reminded me of Doom, the video game. Um 2016, not not the older one because they didn't really have this type of technology to have in it. But like kind of flesh and metal styled one of the tracks on the OST. And uh yeah. Let's get right into the video. So right here we have the whole sequence laid out with uh, different layers, bleeps, bloops, bases, and all that. So I'll just be going over each layer, how I made it, and um, yeah, so we'll start out with the first, well, actually let's listen to the whole thing real quick. Yeah, so uh, that's what it sounds like. I enjoyed making it. I just got bored and wanted to make something random. But anyways, yeah, let's get into it. So first things first. Sorry for the notification. I need to learn how to turn those off. But um, this right here is the main thing you hear. I'm having some CPU overrides. I be some background runnings. It's my bad on my part. So anyways, let's take off all the effects real quick. All right, so this is the main patch. It's a sine wave pitched down with full detune, but at about like a middle area for detune with um, FM coming from this square wave, which has five unison and this amount of detune, and uh, much more, which it sounds like that without the effects if you're curious. I made a little uh, two LFOs, basically the same like pattern, but with different um, curves, because this one actually controls um, the course pitch to add like punch to it so um as well as that i uh use this one for the cutoff um use double fm and then i had this because well, actually i didn't really end up using these my bad it was a uh, for when I was first making the patch. Anyways, then we have the effects section. Uh, that's what it sounds like without anything. Just dry, uh, pure sound design. So I added flanger, which I find, well, then an EQ to cut out the low end, and then adding, which I find to like do something cool with the flanger, is a uh, distortion. Pretty hard distortion, uh, diode 2, uh, distorting all frequencies, and a multiband compressor of OTT setting. So then after that, I added isotope trash 2. That small bleep I take out with this gate, which I'm just going to turn on right now. So uh, it's just clip control boost, nothing special. Add some more grit, power. And add another OTT. Adds more power to it. Let's minimize those. And then some reverb. Could have done that with anything. EQ. Take out more bass because I want to leave room for the punch kick I made. Take out the muddy frequencies. This is a uh, it's side. Like, by the way, um, took out some highs because I wanted it to not have so much highs as it originally as it originally does. Because it kind of gets annoying in the mix. Um, and then a compressor for sidechain. So the next thing is this simple uh, 
square wave, pitch down, uh, 16 unison, uh, saw wave. It's just, uh, there's just this, uh, and this LFO controls the, the low pass filter to open up like a wavy motion. It's just a little rhythmic part I wanted to add to the back. So that's about it. Um, then we have this, which is panned to the left. If you're hearing it more on your left ear, it's supposed to be like that. Um, I made this by, here, I'll show you. I took this plugin called Cryogen and just, where's my, there it is, and my CRM. Just copy a MIDI clip. So this is like a glitch machine, which I just used one of the... Uh, one of the presets, which then like sounded like a little ringtone, which then, if I all drag out this clip, um, I'll delete this real quick. It's just a long recording of that whole MIDI clip. And that's how I got that. Added some reverb, panned it to the left, and that's that. Um, this sound is actually from a sample pack from Splice called a... Here, actually, let me go pull it up. I have a lot of packs, so... Um, Xfora. It has a whole bunch of different... Glitch effects. I could have made some myself, but for other purposes, I just did that. So then, the next thing I had is a snare, which comes from a pack by Lil Texas, a up tempo hardcore producer. It's like a pan snare almost. It has this industrial feel, almost crossbreed, if anyone knows what that is. Some reverb and cutting out the low end, and it sounds like that. It's pretty simple. And then the next thing is the punch kick, which this is just a sub. Now, the reason why the sub is by itself is because in this part, if you have the sub, it's not like a clean sub single signal. Therefore, it can't really hit as hard. Yeah. Um, I made this sound. I'll show you real quick. I could probably do it pretty fast. This being like the main sound that makes it doom like. So, take serum. Uh, yeah. Um, get you down to sine wave. If you're on phone, you probably can't hear this. I added this. Some noise. Now, there, it doesn't sound exactly like the other one, but I'll show you why in a second. Added a little punch um, envelope for the chorus pitch, which then adds more. That's more of a punch, yeah. Um, and then with distortion, I believe I used diode two. It takes the sub and the noise and like presses it together and makes it into like one really gritty hard sound. I find a lot of fun. Um, for this as well, you want to play with this. Um, hold on. let me go to the other patch real quick. I made this yesterday and I thought it would be a nice tutorial to do, so I kind of forgot some of it. Um, so just take up the random because it won't always hit on the center point of this. It'll hit like maybe here, maybe here for each voice and all that. So I didn't really want to, uh, have it do that because it loses its like fat 
like feeling, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this sound. Uh, I'll play again. I think this is the wrong sound. Yeah, that's my bad. No, it's not. But yeah, okay, so anyways, so then when you layer the two, you have the clean signal of the sub and just the kick, which you find a lot uh, commonly in the OST, which is by Mick Gordon. Mick Gordon's a wonderful producer, mass respect for him. So then this is more rhythm, it's a pretty simple, uh, rhythmic part. I just took saw wave, detune 4, like this, uh, LFO, set to 1.8 to control the level about it, and it serves its purpose, because with the, the waving thing, adds more pulsing rhythms to it. And then we have this. So let's go over this real quick. This is just more of a background noise filling type deal that I put in. So this is the original noise. I recorded this from my uh, Behringer Model Decent. Uh, it's just supposed to be another glitch um, to have in the track for purposes. So basically add a reverb, EQ, delay, a uh, vocoder on just the basic preset right when you drop in because I like the the like messy like noise filled sound to it. Uh, Redux to bit crush it down sample. An OTT to press it up. And then a compressor for sidechain. And yeah. Uh, I also have this little special sound that... If you wanted more melody in your sequence, you'd make this by having an arpeggiator. I have it going up and down. Um, uh, uh, eighth note rate instead of like say sixteenth note or quarter notes. Uh, this is just a, a super saw, sixteen voices, middle detune, and just a regular saw wave. Nothing done to it, uh, but it's detuned with the uh, fine pitch up to forty one. So rather than it being like, here, let's see if I can get it here. Yeah. Instead of like that, if you pitch it up, it adds more, um, I'd say width and more like analog feeling to it. Because on analog synthesizers, you can't achieve that perfect detune pitch as like this is. You could, but you would need a lot of voices. You need to be able to like generate 16 voices. Probably could be done on a modular synth, but for my synthesizer, it only has three oscillators, so can't really do much with that. And so has delay for RP feel, reverb, EQ. And yeah, that's my overall Doom sequence tutorial, final result. Now, a tip for when you're making something like 
something that already exists for example like making this doom sequence a good way to like test it and see if it actually fits the tone of the um the game in this instance uh is to play it while watching a clip of the game but like the the game the video you're watching like take down the volume and just listen to your little sequence you made something i find helpful to see if you're achieving what you actually want and uh yeah i'll cue a clip for that if you want to watch that anyways thanks for watching hope you enjoyed leave a like comment uh any feedback um tutorial uh requests and all that uh my music links are in the description if you are interested in listening to the music i make and uh yeah thanks for watching see ya